Well, hello, happy Wednesday, everybody, and welcome to Chico's Live here on Facebook. I am Brandy, your style expert and fashion BFF, and every week we have the pleasure of bringing the incredible fashions here at Chico's to life just for all of you. And this week is no exception to that. It's all about dress to impress. But I love a good challenge, and my team gave me a particularly spicy one. They wanted me to focus on two trouser and denim silhouettes today, new ones that we can kind of walk through together and have some fun with casual brunches to evening out on the town. So we're gonna be talking about this fabulous new pull-on wide leg ponte trouser. I'm wearing it in that beautiful chocolate espresso color. It comes in black as well, of course, regular and petite length. And then the new style, that coated girlfriend flare jean. So we're gonna have some fun today, mixing and matching these styles together for both casual and some fancy affairs. I see so many of my friends joining today. I wanna say hello to Alejandra. I see my mama Gail watching. Hello and Miss Olivia. Maria, hello from New Jersey. Janet from Gainesville, Florida. I was just up your way, go Gators. Laura from Forked, New Jersey. Um, Karen from New Jersey. Mary Lou, Beatrice, Cecilia. Well, hello to all of you. And of course, Cecilia from Rochester and Cynthia from Rochester, New York. So happy to see all of you. Everything I'm showing you today, it's available for you to take a closer look. We are officially in fall, so let the fall fashion shopping begin. All you need to do, comment the word link, L-I-N-K, and our team from Chico's will send you our lookbook showing everything in today's show. And I'm already seeing Dusty saying that she just bought this trouser in the black version. Well. Challenge accepted, let's dress to impress in our new pin tuck pull on ponty pan and our coated girlfriend flare. So I started with two kind of just easy colors, of course, that great kind of chocolate espresso brown color and then this beautiful ivory. It just feels fall. What I love about this top is you're getting the comfort and ease of a knit Henley. You'll see up close it has that nice little fine knit going down it. Um, functional buttons, so you can kind of choose how deep you want that V to be. That V is important. That V is going to help balance our shoulders, give a nice strong shoulder, and help balance our proportion. But then, you know, it's Chico's. It's always about that little bit of fashion flair. We have a vegan leather sleeve here. And Charlotte says, ooh, let's go. Well, let's do it, Charlotte. Let's go. It's completely lined, so it's going to feel comfortable, but also just a little bit of fun. It's adding enough volume that, again, it's helping balance your proportions of that small waist, balancing the proportion of the hip, and then that nice wide leg going all the way down. So let me talk to you about this little pin tuck. So you're gonna see this little seam that is running all the way down the front of the trouser. That is going to create that nice long lean line, and that doesn't matter if you're five foot two or if you're five foot 10. I just adore the easy pull-on silhouette here. You're getting a nice wide elasticized waist. So you don't have to worry about zippers, buttons, closures, all of those sorts of things. Simply pull them on and they're gonna sit right here at just the smallest part of your natural waistline. They are a nice medium weight ponte. Ponte, of course, kind of the queen of knits. You're not gonna have to worry about any sort of shapewear, et cetera, underneath it. It is going to smooth. It is going to be so flattering on the body. And of course, I kind of had to start here with these two classics together. But let's go a little bit more casual for a second, shall we? I'm gonna stay in some of these beautiful neutrals for a minute, and then of course, start adding in a little bit of color. So next up, I wanna play with casual. I love mixing my fall neutrals together. So I'm going to pick up an even deeper chocolate brown color. This is the most sumptuous, lightweight knit a lightweight sweater knit that has just these beautiful little studs cascading down the sleeves and across the body. And I have layered it with our legendary lightweight quilted vest. 
Not all vests are created equal because oftentimes, especially if we are busty or if we tend to be in apple shape and we carry weight around our midsection, they feel tight no matter what size you go with. I love that Melly and our design team has done this ingenious idea of adding this great hidden stretch panel on the inside. Of course, it's dyed to match, but it's going to give you a little bit more ease and a better fit. So I am going to pop this on and then I'm gonna swap out to a more casual shoe as well. I see so much love coming in. So let's keep this style session with Brandy going. If you've never joined us before, I kind of call it um, fashion show and tell. Do you ever come home from a day shopping at Chico's and you wanna show your spouse all of the fabulous things that you bought? Well, that's kind of what this is, except you know, it's just us. <laughs> so I first, before I add the best, want to show the great, just kind of easy length here. So you'll see there's great, again, ease built into this nice lightweight knit. So from a proportion perspective, I, of course, want that nice one third proportion from my shoulder to my hip. So I'm going to do just a slight front tuck here, just to kind of give a little bit more length on that wide leg, that's important. Then I'm gonna add the fabulous little vest. Oh, Barbara is asking a great question. Hi, Brandy, are you wearing the petite pants? What is your height? I am not wearing the petite pants. I'm five foot six. On a good day, I say I feel five foot seven. So I am in the regular length pant. Now, I think it's important to note that when you choose a petite option, and I love how many we have here, petite does not just mean that it's going to be shorter. The entire garment is re-engineered. The rise is going to be um, a little different. The, um, the length, of course, is going to be different. So sometimes we think it's just going to be shorter, but it truly becomes a completely re-engineered piece. So, dress to impress. Where are we going in this? Well, I'm ready for all the fall feels. I don't know about you. I am ready to go out to a fall festival, a great lunch after maybe we've done, you know, some apple picking. So this is in that great classic camel. Debbie says, I love the vest. And yes, vests never fit me very well. Debbie, give this one a try. You're gonna get a great kind of easy collar here that is lined in that same great stretch. That hidden panel on the side there. Look at all of that additional stretch and recovery you're going to get in doing so. So we've now gone back to one of my favorites here. Our Chico sneaker. This one is cleaned up for the fall, classic white leather with just a little hint of black on the back there, just to give it a little something. Our shoes are comfortable. They are always genuine suede's and leathers, and they have a great cushioned footbed on the inside of it. And Linda says, I love this. So Kathleen says, please explain to me the pant length because it looks good, but sometimes I don't feel comfortable on where it hits on the ankle. That, that's why I'm here. And that's why I think our team gave me this fun challenge of showing all the different ways to wear this trouser. So whether you need the regular length or put the petite length, you're gonna want it to hit at the smallest part of your ankle. The eye will fill in what it can't see. So if I raise this up higher, right? To like where my calf starts to get larger the eye will naturally fill in and assume that your leg is that wide all the way up. Not true. So make sure, and depending on whether you need the tall, the regular, or the petite, that it's hitting on the smallest part of your ankle. And that's gonna be a little different for each of us. So that no matter if you wear it with a heel or a heeled sandal like I did in the first look, or you go super casual with a super chic little sneaker, it's going to be just as flattering on the body. I hope that that helps. <laughs> when he says growing apples in Florida, well, I will be up in Michigan in two weeks and we'll definitely be doing some apple picking up there. So for reference, everything so far is fitting certainly true to size. If you're new to Chico's, 
we have unique sizing here. So we go from a triple zero, which is like a size zero, to a size four. So a size four is going to be like a size 20. So I'm five foot six, I wear a regular height and everything here at Chico's, and I typically wear a size double zero or a size two elsewhere. If I deviate from that, I will always let you know. All right, let's keep going, shall we? So now I want to start playing, I told you, with a little bit of color. This teal, this peacock teal, has been one of the wardrobe winners this fall. And it combines a couple of my favorite things. Of course, our iconic no iron button down material. And I love that this style has the additional detail of all of this beautiful peekaboo embroidery up on the sleeve and up here on the collar. So this beautiful brown, is going to again serve as the backdrop, as our neutral, to feature a beautiful pop of color for fall. What I love about this peacock teal color is that because it's a jewel tone, it's going to look flattering on every skin tone. So if these beautiful rich neutrals are not your cup of tea, then let's do this in a beautiful peacock teal. So everybody's asking, obsessed with the pants, what are they made of? They are made of a beautiful medium weight knit. They are a ponte. I'm gonna chat with you a little bit more about it while I put this on. And Gail's asking a great question. She says, can you wear a booty with this pair of trousers? You absolutely can. Um, I do believe I have a pair of chocolate brown booties from Chico's. And if I have them, I will show you how we can layer those two together. Oh, this color. You know, the psychology of color is a real thing. It is such a mood lifter, right? So I'm gonna do again, to kind of keep my proportion there, a little tuck. You could do a tie as well. And Charlotte says, even a tall boot would be nice. Yes, you've got the volume underneath it that you could do a tall boot. You know, let's just have a little fun. Let's just do a little experiment because I'm here in my fashion closet. So I've got a little bit of everything going on back here. So to kind of show you the range here, this is a fabulous little booty from Chico's. I love it in the chocolate brown with that beautiful heel. I'll make sure that we get it added to the lookbook. It's gonna have to be after the show. So just stand by. And then this is a pair of boots from our sister brand over at White House Black Market. But I have shown it to you with a pump. I have shown this pair of pants with a sneaker. And now, bear with me as I do one-on-one -on -one so that you can see that you can absolutely play with both boots and booties with this great new silhouette. So, me personally, I love the look of that long, tall boot kind of just disappearing underneath that. If you enjoy it, that almond toe is something that's super flattering and will help elongate that leg as well. But there's something so chic as well about this great little chocolate booty. And you're gonna get just a hint of skin there, again, at the smallest part of the ankle that's going to, um, again, make it look beautiful. I love it. Janet says, all right, I'm getting used to the wide length. I'm loving it. And Kathleen says, that is so cute. All right, so you get that beautiful scallop detail there. Your classic no iron button down that you know and love. This is in that classic silhouette. So you're gonna have nice ease throughout the body. And then just a little bit of volume in the sleeve. And then of course, look at this gorgeous detail. Such a Chico's original here, just to make that statement on the sleeve. Sandy says, hello from Michigan. And I love the look. Well, hello to you, Sandy, as well. Okay, let me, um, let me not look so crazy. <laughs> let me swap, swap out and I'll put on one pair of, of shoes here. But you know, this is why I love Style Session with Brandy, is that of course it's all about seeing the beautiful new fashion here at Chico's. But it's just as, as importantly, 
educating and empowering you on how to wear these new styles and then seamlessly incorporate them into pieces that you already have in your wardrobe. So lots of questions coming in saying, I love this, how do I find it? All that you need to do, comment the word link and our team will send you a lookbook with everything that's available in today's show. Cheryl says, very nice, thank you very much. So let's now take a little bit of this beautiful peacock teal and go back to a more casual knit. This is picking up all of those feel good colors of fall that we've talked about. The smoked paprika, that beautiful peacock teal, of course, some of that kind of beautiful um, rose pink, and then the neutral and the black. What I love about an abstract print like this with these colors is that I've just rattled off four or five different colors that it's going to go back to. So let me pop this on and let's keep it going. Janet says, yes, that is so helpful. That's what I'm here for. So with this lightweight sweater knit, it is great as a standalone piece or because it is so light, you'll see that you can also easily layer with it as well. I gravitate towards a print like this because of the scale. Oftentimes, we tend to gravitate towards these teeny tiny ditzy prints. And these ditzy prints are not doing us any favors. They make us look bigger, and oftentimes it makes it look like the print is wearing us rather than us wearing the print. So this beautiful abstract kind of foliage, fall leaves, floral, is the perfect scale to kind of just have that nice clean bottom there. I love how it kind of fades off into the black and then once again, you're able to mix and match between either doing black on the bottom, denim, or of course in this beautiful kind of espresso brown like I have. Well, I think we've rocked this pant, can I agree? I'm gonna swap out now to this same trouser in the black to show you a couple more dressy looks because hey, today is all about dress to impress, right? So that same great, so slimming wide leg. So you're gonna get all of the technology that you know and love from our so slimming collection. You're gonna get that nice smoothing detail across the front, that nice easy pull on silhouette, and then again, that nice pin tuck that runs all the way down the length. Available in petite um, as, regular, as well as um, a regular length. Everybody is swooning over this sweater. You know what's great is that sometimes just something so simple can make a fabulous statement. So I'm going to pop these on now in the black and let's keep Style Session with Brandy going. Today is like that perfect kind of wardrobe building show, right? Last week, we really anchored the show in classic black and white. And in doing so, now we start blending in a little bit more color as we kind of continue on our, on our fall journey. So that same great little sweater, Ooh, now in black with those little booties, look, boots looking fabulous underneath it. So let's go a little dressier now, shall we? When I saw this blouse in my local White House Black Market Boutique today, I think I kind of let out an utterable like, oh my gosh. So you're getting kind of the best of both worlds here. You're getting that crisp, clean silhouette of the white button down with this beautiful black embroidery that's cascading all the way down the front of the body. So again, creating that nice long line. And then it continues around the collar and on the sleeve detail. Um, Denise, the boots are from our sister brand over at White House Black Market. They're called the Croco Tall Boot. And um, 
if you just hop right over there, you can see those as well. So let's put this on and then we're gonna start layering with it as well. Bonnie says, oh, that is fabulous with the black. These are just great pieces that will continue to mix and match together and do so easily. That's kind of the, the key. So if you love kind of that longer length out, this is slim enough to the body and has those great pickups on the side that you could absolutely just wear this as kind of that longer tunic length piece. You're doing kind of that long over lean silhouette there. And I'm gonna swap to a little bit of a dressier shoe. I'm just gonna do a black little kitten heel. Again, that almond shape I really enjoy because it's all about creating. Where does that eye and the attention and the energy go? It's not about the heel height. It's really more about the toe shape than it is about the heel height. So even with a great little kitten heel, it's still hitting me right at the smallest part of my ankle. Now let's add a gorgeous third piece. And um, Corinne is making a great observation. She is saying that the shorter length in the top is it seems to elongate the legs. Bingo, ding, ding, ding. So we're gonna get a little pop. So what I love about this, let me make sure I got my, my seams all correct here on my shoulders that you're still getting a little peak of that embroidery. It's just an easy open poncho pullover. You're getting a faux leather trim all the way along the bottom there, the width, a, a width, a narrow one and a wide one. Charlotte says that cape is sharp. There is just something about classic black and white dressing, especially when we're doing it in classic fabrics like a great medium weight sweater knit, a crisp poplin, ponte. It doesn't take much for all of a sudden these things to start creating something so beautiful together. I wanna pick up a little bit more of that beautiful kind of foliage embroidery. Let me show you some earrings. These are, these are what I always call like a quiet statement because they're in black, they're lightweight, but look at these beautiful, like f cascading flower petals. They're super lightweight. Lori says watching on an airplane. Lori, watching lives while I'm flying is like my favorite thing to do. It gets me in trouble. <laughs> you know, you sit there, have a glass of wine. The cape looks good. The ponte pants look good. Well, if you see something you're loving, all you need to do, comment the word link and our team will send you a lookbook with everything in today's show. So now you have this beautiful lightweight earring that has great movement to it. These are gonna be a great travel piece if you need some great jewelry to kind of travel with you. They're not gonna get tangled, they're not gonna get broken. And because they're in that beautiful matte black color, they're gonna practically go with everything that you kind of already have layered back in. All right. The cape is a must have. I also love that it runs very easy in sizing. So small, medium, large, extra large. I would say if you are up to a two, two and a half, probably go with the small, medium. Two to four, go up to the large, extra large. It's gonna look fabulous on you. All right. Now, let's go a little casual, shall we? Let's mix this great pull-on ponty pant with some Zenergy. We're picking up one of those other beautiful tones of the season. So you're getting a scuba material, neoprene. Neoprene is your friend. 
Think of something that is cool, lightweight, completely wrinkle-free with those beautiful ultraviolets and then that beautiful dark Bordeaux burgundy mixed into it. I told you, we were gonna go places. Today is all about dress to impress and that's from super casual to dressy, traveling and everything in between. I'll be right back. And Carol says, those earrings are fab. You know, as I always say with accessories, pick out a couple of key accessories for the season and make sure that you lay them out somewhere where you can see them. You will be so much more apt to wear them if you can see them. If you stick them away in an armoire, well, I know from personal experience that more often than not, they kind of just go in that armoire <laughs> and then six months later, I'm like, oh, those are, that's where those beautiful earrings were. So this is Zenergy. You're getting light, easy, stretch. That black on black is so slimming. And what's great here is that the versatility. Make this feel dressier, again, with a great little kitten heel or a pump, or play in to that Zenergy-esque vibe and mix in great little sneakers. Tina says, I just bought that. It is gorgeous and so comfy. It has great stretch to it. Three-quarter length sleeve here with just a little bit of volume there at the bottom. Connie says, I love wearing Zenergy. It is wrinkle-free, wears like iron, and is super sharp. I love that. Let me give you a little twirl from the back as well. All right. I think that we have shown some fabulous looks with this new pant silhouette, and I hope that you are inspired to try it. Now I wanna go back to our other new silhouette, the one that our team challenged me to style with today. So this is the So Slimming Girlfriend jean that you know and love, right? You get great smoothing across the front, but there are two new things about this particular style. First of all, as you can see from that fabulous sheen on it, it is a coated denim. It is also a newer silhouette with a flare. I'm gonna talk about what all of that means, how to care for it, how to wear for it, all the things, but first things first, I gotta put these on. So, question number one that I saw after last week's show, is this comfortable? Yes. So you are getting all of the properties of jeans that you know and love. Think of your favorite pair of So Slimming Girlfriend jeans. They have great stretch to them. They're comfortable, they're lightweight. They're great for travel. They're easy care and easy wear. This coating is breathable. So just imagine like you are wearing your favorite pair of jeans and nothing more. Number two, you do not have to do any special, um, you know, dry cleaning, et cetera, in them. All you need to do to preserve the wax coating, I recommend turn them inside out and wash them on a cool, gentle cycle. What you should be doing for all of your denim, because heat is the biggest killer of jeans. Jeans have a high amount of elasticity in them or elastane. Heat over time breaks down that elastic. And so that's when your jeans start to sag. That's when they start to not have as much great stretch and recovery back in. So turn them inside out, wash them on a cool, gentle cycle, and then best case, let them air dry. If you're in a hurry, do just a quick, gentle um, tumble dry. So Charlotte says, I am hippie. How's the stretch? Fabulous stretch, girlfriend. So this is true to size. You'll see the great stretch here. You're gonna get the same stretch as, again, your girlfriend jeans that you have here from Chico's that you know and love. Mm, where do I wanna go next? I'm gonna go with a little touch of cool. Picking up a little bit more of that beautiful purple color. And next I wanna talk about what makes this new silhouette in the flare so flattering on everybody? So um, this jean, it comes in petites. It comes in regular length as well. I got you my petite girls. So if you wanna take a closer look, like I said, just comment the word link and our team will 
gladly send that information over to you. Touch of cool. How many of these do I have in my wardrobe? Uh, I feel like I couldn't stop, I couldn't count. But every year I try to update a couple of my essentials, my black, my white, my navy, and then pick out a new print or two. I love this abstract kind of dapple dot, also known as an Appaloosa dot, because again, it's the right scale. It's not a micro print, it's not a ditzy print, so it's going to be flattering on the body. And of course, in this beautiful jewel tone, plum amethyst color. Nancy's asking a great question. Do these jeans work with white sneakers? Yes, they do. I'm gonna put on a top in a minute, Nancy, stand by, and I'm gonna mix back in our fabulous Chico sneakers along with that. So to then add a little bit of something to this look, I'm gonna add a great little denim jacket with our puff sleeve. So do not be intimidated or scared of the word flare. Flare is your friend. Think of a flare jean as an updated bootcut silhouette. It is not the flare of the 1970s that was super, super skin tight and then this huge, wide, voluminous opening at the bottom. This is a slim flare. It is going to do all of the things that a bootcut did for you and some in this flare silhouette. You're getting a nice high rise silhouette hitting again at the smallest part of your natural waist. Slim through the leg, not tight, slim. That little bit of flare at the bottom there is again going to help balance your proportions. That flare at the bottom will help balance the proportion of your hip. To make the trifecta, make sure that you add a little bit of a strong shoulder to it. This flirty little denim jacket is like my travel go-to. I love that it's a dark wash, so it feels a little dressier. And again, it can mix well with denim or anything in a black tone. And because it's a clean wash, you really then have free reign to mix any other print or color into it. Let me give you a little twirl from the back. It's a nice medium weight denim. It has great stretch and recovery. Recovery means when you stretch it out, does it snap back? You want that snap back. That means that it has a great high quality elastane or spandex or elasticity mixed into it. And that's really important when you're looking for a piece that is going to um, really like become one of those key pieces in your wardrobe. Oh boy, hangers are falling. What can I say? Next, let's go back to a classic black and white. This time we're going with the stretch poplin, longer length. This is gonna be in a fabulous tunic length. And I love this little micro silver ball chain detail that trims all the way down. And then of course, kind of just swirls around the sleeves as well. So I'm going to put that on. Shirley says, I am wearing that shirt right now and I love it. Be right back. So this flare silhouette looks great with the longer tunic length because of the slim leg line. This old thing, again, you get, I love the stance on that collar, that silver detail running down the body. And then those little, look at these beautiful little pickups that cascade down the sleeves there. So because it is in a true tunic length, you're gonna get great coverage across the back. And of course, those little vents on the side there for just a little extra ease and movement. So stretch poplin, it is lightweight. It feels great on the body, but it has a little bit more of a sheen to it than perhaps some of your just regular kind of cotton blend pieces. 
that stance collar to me is also just a little extra to finish off that look. Everybody is saying, I love that blouse. If you wanna take a closer look, if you haven't yet, comment the word link. We will send you today's lookbook with everything that is available in today's show. Well, since we're in a classic black and white moment, I now kind of wanna go monochromatic with all black for a moment before we add on a really fabulous piece. So this is in stretch poplin again. We're going classic black here. It comes in white as well. And you will see that this is much more of a hip length silhouette. Kimberly says, does this work on people who are petite and have hips? Yes, Kimberly. A long over lean silhouette works on every height and body type, especially when you have the lighter color on top and then that slick black on the bottom. So another stretch poplin coming up and then I'm gonna add a gorgeous piece because this is all about dress to impress and this little black and white topper, oh my. So many great pieces today, what can I say? So sharp in just that beautiful clean black with the so slimming girlfriend in the coated denim and that new flare silhouette. So just on its own, so chic together. When I do a monochromatic look like this, I love to add kind of a statement piece of jewelry. So playing into that beautiful monochromatic, look at this. You're getting a beautiful gold chain, fabric woven in, and then kind of a coated resin link underneath it. So you have two choices here. When I'm doing something like this with black on black, I love kind of tucking it up underneath the collar or you can kind of open your neckline and have it peek underneath. Again, total personal preference. And we'll make sure that we have all of these pieces underneath added to, um, to the lookbook at the end of the show. So again, you can do it just so it's a little bit of a peekaboo or you can layer it over top and really make that a wow. Uh, yes, how tall am I? I'm five foot six. So now let's finish up with a great little wow piece. I'm gonna mix in just a beautiful little delicate earring. Everybody, that necklace, I know. It's not too heavy, that's the great thing. Um, because it's a blend of different materials, it's not all metal, it's not too heavy. All right, in my opinion, I'm saving the best for last here. You are getting a rhinestoned zipper running all the way down the body. You're getting a great lightweight sweater knit in color blocked classic, black and white. Now this one is stitched on the sides here. So you're not gonna have to worry about kind of how to fix it and all of those sorts of things. That beautiful color block L with that rhinestoned zipper running all the way down. And I love how, to, how we hear juxtapose that kind of just classic, dare I say, tiptoeing into fall and holiday event dressing with a little bit of that edge of that coated denim to finish off that look. Bonnie says the color block, heart, heart, hearts. I love that. Me too. And again, easy on sizing. I'm in the small medium. 
that would go from the size double triple zero to a two and then the large extra large also what a fabulous gift for your mom for your sister for your aunt because we're going to be there before you know it well if you love it comment the word link we'll get all of that sent over to you i hope that you have had as much fun as i have going through dress to impress focusing on two of our fabulous um, pant and jean silhouettes here at Chico's. I'm back for one more week. You get me again next week, and we're going to be talking about newness and color, beautiful plums, topes. I can't wait to show you all about it. Until then, stay kind, stay fashionable, and I'll see you all again next week. Bye, everybody.